me again. This time I'm going to tell you about database security. Enjoy. So, what is database security? Well, basically, database security is a collection of security controls to protect anything in a database. It has similar features with the computer security. The only difference between those two is the workspace. One deals with the whole computer system and the other only deals with the database. Database security becomes so important in the professional world that usually it also decides whether your organization running successfully or not. It's because customers only want to choose the best selection in the market as possible. And that means a no-no for a company that cannot protect their personal identity. Here are the things that can harm our databases, either from the outside or inside our organization itself. First is unauthorized activities. Hackers are one of our organization's biggest enemies in the database protection. If they manage to get into our database system, then it's basically done. They can easily manipulate our sensitive data and destroy our entire database within seconds. Second is malware infections. Malwares in a database can cause leakage of personal data to the outsiders or even damaging the database itself. Third is overloads. Without the proper access control of the database, there will be so many users who could open it. And when so many users operate in the database, it can cause the system of performance degradation and eventually will slow down the business. Then there's physical damages which include some things that are not supposed to happen to our database system, like broken equipment or overheating. Design flaws are usually caused by the creator of the database. Because of bad programming or database organizing failures, it can lead the database into data corruption or loss. The last is data corruption. It is basically caused by invalid data or commands. It also sabotage or criminal activities. And then, how to stop it? Well, here's some of the layers of database security controls that often exist in a company to protect their valuable databases. Usually, each of point on this list consists of different stuffs. So, the database protection activities can go as focused and as accurate as possible. Access control used to list the users that can access the database. We don't want random people tag along inside our database, right? So we create an access control to know which one of our staff has the responsibility to our database and put all the blame on them if some things happen. Database audit is an observation throughout the database to monitor database activities and detect an abnormal behavior as quick as possible before it harms the database. Authentication is data validation. A data that goes into the database must have an accurate background information before it is stored. We don't want some random information without proper background goes into our database and mess up our analysis activities later on, do we? And then there's encryption. Encryption is used to make extra protection from our sensitive data. Usually data that are encrypted can only be opened by a specific person in a company. So we could know that this data is someone's responsibility and also the data will become much safer than before. Data integrity is a process of checking whether a data has change of information or not. The data in our database, after it is stored in an accurate way with a proper background, must be protected from changing into something new to protect its integrity. A backup has to be created in order to prevent data loss in our database. We talked about it earlier that something unwanted could happen into our system without us noticing it, like overheating or broken equipment. So we create a backup station to solve that kind of problem. At last but not least is application security. Application security is a protection added from the database application, like Oracle or Microsoft Access. It is used to protect their application from code changing by outsiders or any other possible threats to damage its design. 
Well, thank you so much for listening to my explanation. I hope you understand well. And see you next time. Bye-bye.